you know, we have a process of what we do on each day, so it's good. What did you guys focus on today? What did you do? Well, this is a red zone day. We, we mix in pressure and some running. And all. We always have a little bit of first and ten stuff, but then Tuesdays are more third down, and then Wednesdays become a little bit of everything with the red zone added, and then tomorrow becomes everything again. Is Weinrich's injury a little bit more serious than you guys expected? Well, Gina, you weren't here, but his oh. injury was three years ago. He's recovering. So, you know, he's actually doing a little more than I, I anticipated this year. So, it's just been a long, long haul for him. Is it precautionary as far as getting him ready for conference play? Or? No, no, no. He's just not ready. You keep mentioning balance as something this team needs to find, you know, going back to San Diego State last year. Not really a good balance between rushing and passing. How are you hoping to achieve that? Well, that's it's going to be it's going to be very important that we run way better than we did, and uh, and and yet it's hard because they are very aggressive. Uh, a lot of people in the box, a lot of blitzing. So you're going to have to be real sharp blocking, whether you're pass protecting, running the ball, whatever you're doing. The 3-3-5, it's a scheme you don't see very much. So just how does that kind of change things for your offense? Well, you know, it's a it's a unique preparation, and that's why Rocky has done it for years. He's, he's one of the few guys that really do it like this. But he knows it, and uh, they've been always a well-coached, good defensive football team, and, and uh, it's just part of his and their identity. Another late road kickoff, or another late kickoff against yeah. USC. What, uh, what kind of are your thoughts of all the late kickoffs? You know, I don't really have any any thoughts about it. It's just I told the team that we, we don't have any control over it. We don't even find out till a couple weeks before the game. So we have to just have the attitude of so what. It doesn't really, doesn't. We already played a 7:30 game. It just happened to be 4:30 in Hawaii. So. <laughs> A lot of guys have mentioned that because of the bye week, there's been a lot more anticipation going into this game. Do you think that's going to be a, a good source of energy for the team? Should be. Should be. We should be very, very hungry. You know, we're certainly a long way from where we need to be, and uh, we need to continue to grow. So there should be a real good anticipation for this ball game, I would think. Victor Bolden obviously had the big game in Hawaii. Hunter Jarman and Jordan Villeman get their first catches. Is there any other um, offensive players that can kind of see are potentially ready to, to break out and start making? No, a we need impact? to get those guys growing more. Hunter and Jordan, I think, are talented guys, and uh, you know they, they they just had a small taste so far. So they're they're going to be important players for us down the road, and I think very good players. Is Ramel Dockery someone you can see maybe getting making more of an impact in the receiving game? Yeah, he can for sure. You know, I'm very p pleased with him, and it's a great addition to our team. He can do a lot of things, and uh, I think he's very capable of, of going in the game and making plays. With the injuries on the O line, there's been a few, you know, two, three tight end packages more and more here on practice. How important is it for the tight ends to help blocking on the O line? Well, that's really one of the keys to our running game is how well the tight ends block, and you know, what they give us in our running game, our style. So they're very, very important parts of our running game.